tantrum might have been just a little weird. Actually, maybe not just a little. But screw it! That isn't what this video is about. It's about these weapons that I suggest you ought to buy. Actually, mainly this rocket. In case you guys missed out on the war path here. I'm also going to be showing you guys one other weapon that I recommend you guys to check out. There's quite a bit of weapons being sold by the vendors this week that are pretty good though. I'm not going to lie. But I'm not going to go over every single weapon that I think is good. I'm just going to be showing you guys two that I definitely recommend. Anyways, as you guys might have known last week, this was being sold by the Future War Call vendor and this was what people were suggesting people to buy. Like, by people I mean what YouTubers were suggesting people to buy. Actually, a Reddit post went viral saying that this does just as much damage as the Dark Drinker and the Gallahorn against 390 Axis, and it's true. I saw the visual proof test of it going down. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick the outcome. Whoops, uh, that was the wrong thing. Right here is actually the damage outcome of the Dark Drinker with max ammo. And here was the Warpath with eight shots. As you can see, it did quite a bit more damage and not to mention no tether or weapons of light was used and the person who did the test said he could have fired more ward pass shots if he wanted to but he only went with shooting eight shots as you guys can see here this is what i have for the perks warhead verniers field scout tripod and cluster bomb heavy payload as well and <coughs> snapshot not gonna lie that is freaking awesome perks also, the Hezen Vengeance is just like it. Tripod, Heavy Payload, and Merv Mini, which basically this is like cluster bombs. Actually, it pretty much is, yeah. And also, this is the weapon I'm actually suggesting you to buy from the Dead Orbit vendor over here. I call him Mr. Cameltoe. Don't question my nickname. All I know is this is my favorite faction. Some of you guys are like, no, why is it your favorite faction? Actually, I don't know. I really don't know. I just chose Dead Orbit before all the other factions, and then I was like, you know what, Dead Orbit's my favorite now. Anyways, as you can see here, this is what the perks are on the Unto Dust. It has Warhead Verniers, Field Scouts, Lightweight, Heavy Payload, Tripod, and Cluster Bomb. It is the same thing as the Warpath. So everybody getting that major hype over the Warpath and getting all noise and moist over it, well, don't you guys worry, you still have a chance to get it. So don't feel like you're left out. You can buy it from the Dead Orbit faction right here, aka Mr. Camelto. Also, just wanted to throw it out there to you guys. I just showed you three other rockets that could be used as well. Actually, you know what? Maybe even Hunger of Crota could be just as good. Eh, never mind. Doesn't have tripod. Not as good. And also doesn't have warhead verniers. Oh, oh, oh no. But yeah, I showed you three rockets at least. That'll do. Anyways, let's go over here to the Crucible vendor. The palindrome being sold by it looks amazing. Personally, it's like a god roll to me. If it had Icarus, it would be a god roll. I like Icarus on my hand cannons with luck in the chamber. But it does have something pretty useful besides Icarus, I will say that much. Here we are. Let's go ahead and review it, shall we? Where you at, palindrome? Oh my gosh, where you at? Here you are. Okay. As you can see, it has Mulligan, Partial Refund, Reinforced Barrel, Casket Mag, and Luck in a Chamber. Luck in a Chamber is an amazing perk on a hand cannon. Reinforced Barrel is a freaking amazing perk on a hand cannon. And lastly, but certainly not least, Mulligan. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. That is not a bad perk to have. Or Partial Refund for Pete's sake. Chance to return portion of the magazine after an assist. And you guys should know how often assists come. Well, personally for me, like, I don't know, I'm always putting shots in my enemies in Crucible. It's just what I do. As soon as I see someone, I put some shots and I call them out, and that's that. I don't always try to go for the kill, if you get what I'm saying. I don't, like, rush after them, chase after them, like, oh gosh, here I come. I'm going to try to get them. I'm going to run all the way over here into the other team's base and kill you. And then, yeah, it's just not worth it for one kill. But I like putting shots into my enemies. And, you know, assists come often. Especially if you try to put as much shots as you can into enemies. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. If you stayed this long, I just wanted to quickly remind you guys, I am going to be ending the giveaway here soon of my Nintendo Switch. All you have to do to enter is simply leave a like on the video and also subscribe if you haven't. And then after you subscribe, make sure, make sure you hit that bell. That is how I'm going to be choosing one of the lucky winners 
for the giveaway. So when that's actually notified by my uploads because I feel like those people help my channel out the most. Also, I just want to throw this out there to you guys. If you guys stayed this long, it'd be much appreciated if you could go show some support to this video right here. I know it's a Roblox video, but I'm trying to get this server banned on Roblox. It's just really disgusting. And if you go check it out, you'll see why. Like, little kids try to have sex with each other in this server. It's just disturbing. Like, one little boy came up to me thinking I was a chick because I came in there as like a girl character. And he was trying to hit on me, telling me to come in this room with him and... What not. It was just disturbing. Go check it out, everybody. I'll leave a link in this description, or you can just simply click the video right now, and it'll send you to it. If you can, leave a thumbs up on it so we can help get this passed around more, so it has more of a chance to actually get banned off of Roblox. Because I just find it disturbing that sexual activities like this is happening in a child's game, for Pete's sake. Anyways, yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, everyone. I'm out of here. Toodles.